<laughs> it's pretty good, man. There's, there's football in the SEC, I guess. You can get whip, they can give you whiplash or anything? Ah, uh, no, nah, not at all, man. I'm good. <laughs> I saw you tweet out a picture where it looked like the uh, tackle was hugging you. Yeah, man, kind of uh, had me in the chokehold. It was, it was really the guard. Okay. It was really in the chokehold, but uh, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, I'm straight. I'm ready. Don't get the old Miss now. Playing Little Rock night game. Just yeah. The opportunity you guys have. Yeah, man, we haven't been in Little Rock since uh, last year, I think since the first game. It's going to feel good getting back to there. Um, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of our teammates from Little Rock, I'm two hours from Little Rock, so it, most, a lot of my family going to be able to come up. So it, it's, it's a great game just to play in. Night game, fans are going to have a chance to get wired. To actually get some, get some time to get ready. The last two games been at 11 o'clock. I know the fans hate those early games. I think some fans like them, but I think the majority of the fans hate those games. But but now it gives it gives fans time to actually get ready to tailgate and then be able to come inside and enjoy the game. You think you guys have shown them a product now that they're going to get excited about it? I, I think so. I think I think every game we've been able to increase production on both sides of the ball. So I feel like defense last week had a little step back um, from a high, high power uh, Bama team, but I feel like we're still making strides. You look at Ole Miss, and you know it's Louisiana Road. They scored 70 last week. They scored 76 against SIU, 47, I think it was on Texas Tech. Well, what, yeah. what do you think of their offense? Um, high power. I know a lot of those guys over there. Um, great, great guys, ballers. Um, they can score at any, at any time on any defense. So we're just trying to make sure we prepare for that. They're their quarterback. I think he made his first start against you guys last year. Played pretty he well. He did. He, he played great. Yeah. Well, what do you remember about that? And then what do you think of watching him on film this season? Um, he has a quick release. He has he has great feet. I feel like he also he also when his when his um, play action or when his um, when his when he's reading you got when he's when his when his on read or whatever whatever it is. I feel like he made great decisions. On uh, the RPO stuff, yeah. run pass out. His ability to run, how much do you have to keep, keep him contained this week? Um, he, I feel like he's as good as any of the other quarterbacks, if not better, at running the ball. I feel like if he wants to, he can get 100 yards rushing each game. You know, two and him are both from Hawaii. It's kind of weird. SEC's got two starting quarterbacks Yeah, I, I was thinking Yeah, I was thinking that not too long ago, man, but both of them guys are ballers. You know, I feel I feel like I feel like I feel like him and, and uh, Tua are both both great great competitors, great players, and I feel like both of them are, are great quarterbacks too. You mentioned taking a step back last week. How much does that drive you guys defensively to, to kind of come back out and kind of pick up where you left off after? Um, yeah, we we definitely want to get back on on good terms. Uh, we feel like we feel like we could we could we could get we can do better every game. We feel like we definitely could have did better Bama game. So. It's time to just put that behind us. We already watched film Sunday. Put that behind us and, man, just, um, just try to improve. I don't know about your previous defensive coordinators, but John Chavis comes in on Monday with us and takes accountability for a lot of the stuff that puts you guys in. How much do you guys like that and kind of embrace your coach? Yeah. You guys up like that? I definitely appreciate that, man. Um, the whole coaching staff, they let us know they'll, they'll never put anything on us. They'll never blame us because they put us in the positions they put us in. So I, I definitely appreciate every coach sticking their neck out for us uh, at any given time. It's been a wild series. I know you haven't been here for all four of them, but there's four, four game winning streak. Which, what do you remember about the, the games you've been a part of? Um, they all came down close to the wire. Uh, we had the we had the fight in all in the, the the two I was the two I was in. We had the fight. So you know, you know that old Miss, and they all are always talented. So you know that old Miss gonna give it to you, and you know you gotta be able to execute when the plays come to you. I can't remember who there was some video from today of Coach Chavis kind of making contact with a guy. I mean, kind of you know like blocking him. Yeah. I mean, he's not a young. I guess he's I think he's 61, going on almost 62. Did, yeah, did, man. Did, I don't know. I think it was with the backers probably. Yeah, it did, was with the backers. Did, I heard him over there and kind of peeked at it. Yeah. What, what, what do you think about that? Uh, Chavis is. A great guy, Mount Little Chase, man. He, he, he a great dude to be around. He a great man to be around. You can, you can learn so much from him. Um, he, he, he's, he's not young, but he's energetic, and you can just, you can just, <laughs> you can just feed off of that every day. So it, it's definitely appreciated. Back to what Bob was asking you earlier. I mean, did you learn something about how you maybe need to play a little differently in certain situations after that Alabama game last week? Um, not certain situations, just certain plays. Um, you got, you got to be in different. 
in different um, spots, and we went we went into those spots that that Chief was calling for us to be in sometimes. So if anything, it'll be that not not play different, just play smarter. I'm talking about you and the situations that you were put in. You know whether you were held or not. Oh. Just you know how to get off of that a little better. Yeah, thing. yeah. Like I even even though I, you know I, I feel like I was held, but at the end of the day, it wasn't called. So I do gotta I gotta do I do gotta I gotta be better with my hands. Um, be be better getting out blocks. Um, be better at the point of attack. Things like that. You you, you posted a picture on Twitter. Was that you just kind of like say, hey, I just want to get this out there. Look what this guy's doing to me. Was that just? Kinda it was just like Lord knows, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if, we, if we don't know if the rev, if the rev ain't call it, Lord knows. Yeah. The Lord know what happened, man. How, how much you guys just need to win? You guys have shown improvement, but just need yeah. to win to kind of. We we, we 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 need to win bad man. It's to 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 jump, to try to jump start the season. Um, first these games are done with. These the last these games. We just trying to hit the reset button. Uh, we've been we've been preaching day one today. So it's day one now. We got the day one mentality. We it's day one all the time. But but now we're just really trying to hit that reset button. Like it's time to start back over.